I got to tell you, I have a love-hate relationship with OBS Studio. It's mostly love, but I find myself not wanting to experiment with new plugins so much anymore because it's so damn difficult to remove them if you don't like them. Not all plugins are created equal. Some are fantastic, some are mediocre, and some are just garbage. And I hate to keep those bad ones on my program. So I went out and did some homework, and I found a way to take a snapshot of OBS Studio, then install the plugin, and then, if I don't like it, I can restore back to OBS before it was installed. I'm talking about all your settings, all your tools, all your scripts, all your plugins, everything, soup to nuts. You can restore back and, ha and completely get rid of the plugin or tool. It's fantastic. Not only can you do that, but you can also migrate OBS Studio to another computer as well, which is also a side benefit. So every live streamer who uses OBS Studio who has a PC should know how to do this. I look forward to explaining it to you. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. This channel provides education on live streaming tools and techniques to give you the reward and recognition that you deserve. If you like what you hear, subscribe and click the bell for a new video notification every single week. Now, as I stated before, this is a tutorial for PC users, but if you're a Mac user and you have interest in a version for you, let me know. And I promise you, I will leave this bunker right now. I will go up to the top floor of this house and I will walk into my son's bedroom where my old iMac is located and I will for the first time in probably close to two and a half years I will make a tutorial for Mac users specifically for you okay <laughs> now that shell over there is not is inert okay that's a 16 inch papyrus shell we're firework fans that's a fake shell don't worry that's not real <laughs> so anyway let me know in comments if you're interested and I will make one for you okay let's get into what files you have to copy in order to make a backup for OBS studio here we go now in this manual backup solution that I'm going to explain to you it will require a zip program I highly recommend 7-zip that's what I have on my computer it works great it's hundred percent free so if you don't have a zip program which I'm assuming that you already do but if you don't Consider 7-Zip. That's what I will be using in this tutorial. Let's get going. Okay, on my current OBS program, I have installed the Stream Effects plugin, and I only have two scenes. The backup that I've done previous to this backup has 24 scenes and does not have the Stream Effects plugin installed. So I'm going to show you how to restore from that previous backup so that you can confirm that stream effects goes away and that the scenes are added. So I just want to let you know that. So right now, what I'd like you to do is make sure that you turn off OBS. So I'll go to file in the upper left hand corner and click exit. And I want you to go into the search bar in the lower left hand corner of your computer and type in hidden files and click it. And it's going to open up a window and I want you to scroll down until you see change settings to show hidden and system files. Click the show settings link to the right of that and it's going to open up a little window. Here's what it looks like. And if you scroll down and look for that second yellow folder, you'll see something that says show hidden file folders and drives. Click that radio button, hit apply and hit OK. That guarantees that you will see all the necessary folders that we need to copy manually for the backup okay so we'll close out this window and I also want to draw your attention to 7-zip I'm going to ask you to install this program it's hundred percent free it's a little bit more robust than the than the default zip program that resides with Windows 10 and I'd like you to use it instead of the other program you can find it at 7-zip.org terrific program you're gonna love it install it let's move on to the next section okay let's open up the file explorer and go to your C drive and select program files and scroll down until you see the OBS-Studio folder. Now, I highly recommend that you change the yellow folder to something else so that you can find it quickly. In my example, I've changed it to a red icon. Let me show you real quick how to do that. It's pretty simple. Right click on it, go to properties, select customize, change icon select your icon here hit ok and apply and it's good to go i'll just cancel out because i've already done it that'll help you find it a lot easier and you're going to go back in here and do this quite often if you're going to run a lot of backups from time to time so go inside of this folder and the first thing that i noticed here is that 
the stream effects plugin that I installed has an uninstall.exe file. That tells me one thing, and that is stream effects is a quality program. It is not garbage, okay? I want to let you know. If a plugin creates an uninstall.exe file, that's a good sign. Regardless, what I'd like you to do is go in here and highlight all the folders, okay? And then click the share tab here and select zip. And Windows 10 will zip up all the files for us. Boom, all done. Okay, we want to rename this to OBS-Program, okay? It just lets us know that it's the program files. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to click Control-X to cut it. And I'm going to go to the location where I'm going to show all my backup uh, folders. That's in my F drive. And I'm going to go into the OBS backup folder that I've created. And as you can see, I've changed it to that red icon so I can see it easily. I'll double-click it. And I'm going to right click and click new folder. Now the way that you name this is crucial. Watch, name it like this. Trust me, this is a good tip. 2021 year month 03 and then the day 22. Is it today? Yeah, 22. Dash and then describe what's on the OBS program at the time of creating this backup. So I'm going to say 22 scenes and it contains the, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, oh, geez. Stream effects. Stream effects plugin. Okay, just gives me a little hint as to what the backup contains. All right. I'll double click it and go inside and hit Control V and paste in the OBS program.zip file. We're almost done. We have to do one more thing go back into the C drive. Go into users, select your username. In my case, it's Scott. Select app data. If you didn't have the files unhidden, you would not see this folder. Now you do because you've made it so that you can see this folder. Double click it. Click roaming. And again, you look for the OBS Dash Studio folder. As you can see, I've got that icon in there. So double click it, highlight all this stuff and select the zip icon again in the share tab. Now watch what happens. I get this wacky prompt. It says Windows un unable to add one or more empty directories to the compressed file. I don't know why this error occurs. All I know is 7-zip does not give me this prompt. So if I hit OK to this and just get rid of it, I'll delete the zip file that it created real quick. Highlight these folders again, right click, click 7-zip and add to archive. Hit OK. Boom, it works. These folders are much smaller than the program folders, so it happens much quicker. I'm going to right click on this and select Rename and type this in as OBS App Data. Okay. I'll highlight it. I will hit Control X. I will go into my backup folder again. There it is right there. Go into Today and paste. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is restore the previous backup to show you the changes that occur. Here we go. Okay, we'll go into the drive containing my backups, which is my F drive. I'll go into the OBS backup folder that I created for myself, and I'm gonna go to that previous backup containing no plugins and 24 scenes. I'll double click that. And I'm going to expand both of these folders because I just want to make sure that the integrity of the files are there and I just want to make sure that we're good to go. So I'll right click on OBS programs.zip and click 7-zip and extract files. Hit OK. I will then do the same thing for the OBS app data zip file. I'll just take a peek inside both of these and make sure that they are in there. It looks like they're solid. Very good. Okay, the next step is to go into the C drive, go into Program Files, OBS Studio, and delete these files. Now, why do I say this? This is interesting. Windows 10 will not allow you to overwrite existing files in Program Files. 
And I did a lot of research trying to figure out the best way to accomplish this. And the simplest way is to delete the folders and files and then copy in the old ones. It's just one of those things. If, if anybody has a better solution for this, I would love to hear it. Based on my research, this is the easiest way. So what I don't want you to do is, is click, click the, the shift, shift button, button and, and then, then delete. delete because what it'll do is it will not put it in the trash can. It'd be nice just to have these files in the trash can just in case something goes sideways. It won't, but just in case something goes sideways, you can restore back from the trash can. So just click the delete key and delete them and put them in the recycle bin. Okay, good. Now we'll go back to the uh, F drive, go into my backup folder and go into the program folder that I expanded, highlight all these files and folders, hit control C, go back to C, go back to program files, look for my red folder and paste. Awesome, they're back in there. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for the app data. So let's go to C, we'll go into users, Scott, app data, roaming, OBS-studio, delete these, just click the delete key, it'll put it in the trash can, go into my F drive, back of folder, app data, highlight all these older files, hit control C, and go back in. There we go. Kapow. Now we will close this out and we will take a look at OBS Studio and see if everything is back. Okay, it looks good. This was some old file, some weird thing I did. Stream effects is not there. I have 24 scenes. Let's see if my filters were still there. I'll go to filters. There they all are. Three filters that I used to have. That's a weird effect. I'll hit close to that. Let's see if my settings are the way they used to be. I used, I believe, X264 as my encoder. We'll go to output, I think it is. And there it is, encoder 264. Yep, it's all back. Now removing any kind of a funky plugin is gonna be super easy for you and you can experiment with any new plugins without any worry. One of these new plugins that you absolutely have to check out is called the OBS shader filter plugin and what makes it really cool is that it creates these wicked cool smooth moving animations that are generated from mathematical equations i've created a tutorial that will show you how to install it and show you some demonstrations from this plugin which are absolutely fantastic i can't wait to show you i will see you over there get some